Hey, gun people. Going to talk about uh, a little bit uh, where the sheriff just got arrested here, and I got to have some notes here because this is a. Uh, hopefully, I'm in here. I can't ever see that damn camera. <laughs> so, uh, let's. Uh, oh, man. Are you kidding me? I got to. Because I'm on battery, my uh, thing goes in a screensaver, so I lose some things. Uh, so, here we go. Um, if you read the headlines or if you're up aware on it, uh, the, a retired L.A. County Sheriff, this, is, this has got multiple implications and, it, and it's, it, it's going to ripple out and there's some good and bad out of this. Now the people who hate cops are going to say this is all good, but the people who understand government are going to say this isn't really good. So the headlines, and I'll put a link in the description, retired L.A. Sheriff Lee Baca admits he lied to the FBI in a jailhouse abuse scandal. So. L.A. County Sheriff, California agency, big agency, a lot of crime in California, a lot of gun crime. Why? Because the liberals run it, because they have strict gun control, and because they coddle all kind of criminals, bad elements, non-working, non-producing elements type of people. That's your liberal base, your people that don't contribute, that just want free shit. That's why I don't like liberals. That's why people come here and go, why do you hate on liberals? Not all the same. You know, it's like some Nazi guy telling me, hey, I didn't put anybody in the oven, but I'm part of the Nazi party, and, uh, you know, my brothers did it, but it wasn't me. Some of us are good. I don't want to hear that. Liberalism as a whole is a destructive force to anything good. So in your big liberal countries or states like New York and California on both coasts, you have the most crime, the most gun control, the most shootings, the most killings, the most gangs, the biggest prisons and the biggest jails, and the biggest police forces. Now, most people can't figure out why that's bad and how, how that correlates. So they want to somehow connect it's the Republicans or conservatives or constitutionalists' fault that want guns and it's the gun crazy gun guys that cause all this crime. They have no clue on how to connect the liberal. So this is Typical liberal government, huge, growing. Now, to give you the, a, a little uh, input, kind of the rest of the story on this, on how big the L.A. County Sheriff is, okay? The L.A. County Sheriff has over 18,000. This is one city in a liberal state with great gun control, with the highest amount of crime and the most gangs and the biggest prisons. Of the, okay, remember, 18,000 employees for one law enforcement agency. And that's just L.A. County Sheriff. LAPD has probably another 18,000. Then you have the feds, ATF, county, a correction, a peace officer, a, you know, enforcement, code enforcement. I mean, that's just, this is just the LA County Sheriff, 18,000. Now, only 9,000 of those 18,000 are cops. So you still have a large, but all those other people that support and collect and call in and have favors and we're all part of the team and we're all buddies and we're all government and we're all here to look out for each other. That is a huge number of people. It's a gang. I don't care what anybody says. They have a uniform, common patch, common sign, all this other crap. Uh, two or more conspiring to commit a crime. So, LA County Sheriff is a huge government bureaucracy. So, when somebody says, oh, the sheriff got busted, good. He should have known what was going on. Look, I think uh, New York has something like 35,000 cops, or I mean, they may be up to 40 or 50,000 cops by now. Because they continue to grow. Why? Because they continue to pass more laws and then they continue to let more criminals out and they don't enforce those laws. All they want to do is get more laws and the system just repeats and liberalism grows and you have a bunch of dumb voters and... Alright, so I get off my... my no, I won't because that's, that's the problem. So, out of those 9,000 uh, deputies, uh, they have, I don't know, 900 reserves, 8,000 civilian, 42, etc. LAPD uh, law enforcement services over 3 million residents in 3,171 square miles. Okay? That's a lot. That's a lot. Now, the county itself is 4,000 square miles of the county. But some of the county is patrolled by different cities and they've kind of incorporated. And some of those cities, L.A. County Sheriff gives those people. So, this is just, again, I want you to get kind of the rest of the story. When you read an article, and, and they don't cover any of this. When you just read the headline article, oh, L.A. County Sheriff arrested in a thing and he lied to the FBI. Yay! Man, there's so much more behind the scenes. That, that county, I've served warrants there. I've worked there. I've worked with the cops there. I've taken training there. Believe me, 
That place is a freaking disaster. You want to watch a movie, a, a, a good movie that kind of shows you how rough that city is? Watch them, the old, old movie called Colors. They probably have new ones out now, but this is an old one. I forgot the name of the guy that's in it. I think Sean Penn might have been in it. He was a rookie cop in the movie. It's called Colors. And, I mean, the crime and the jurisdiction and the LAPD fighting and the, the different units and everybody's, you know, you got to have a special unit in large cities like that for everything. You have, you know, so many officers for gangs, so many for arson, so many for gun crimes, so many for drugs, so many for this, for sexuals, so many for process. You have all the, because government just grows, and as it grows, we have to justify these positions, and we have to say why we need more officers so we can get more supervisors, so we can get more managers, so the person in charge can get a bigger budget and get more money from the county. Where does the county get the money? Through property taxes, state taxes, local county taxes, ripping off the working people to support and grow the cancer of government. So, uh, LA County Sheriff's Department operates the largest jail system in the world. Okay? Now, I'm not sure what Rikers Islands has. I hear it's a pretty big jail. But in, in, in LA County, they have over 200,000 inmates. 200,000! I mean, can you imagine trying to control that? I mean, you most prisons don't have that much, but they have different facilities and all these jail. In any one given day, I think they said, uh, no, I'm sorry. They incarcerate 200,000 a year and they have 20,000 inmates. Okay? 30% of those inmates, some say, are severe mental disorder or substance abuse disorder. Now, substance abuse disorder is a liberal term we used to call a loser drug addict. But the liberals have redefined it like they redefine every word, and now it's called poor little drug abusers who make bad decisions and have no responsibility for their actions are just severe substance use disorder. Oh, that doesn't sound so nice, Rick. Why do you got to be so mean? We just got to throw more money at these drug users, these losers, these people that make these bad decisions and have no consequence. We need to throw more money into prosecuting them, into giving them help, into giving them resources, into raising taxes. Liberalism, as it grows, L.A. County is perfect, New York's perfect. If you want to see how liberalism fails, look at those counties. So, uh, that kind of gives you the idea on how hard, hard it is. In 1990, uh, 1990 now, LASD, that's the L.A. County Sheriff's Department, they put a worldwide sound recorder in their whole county that can t detect gun blast within 25 to 30 feet anywhere in the county. Now that's a pretty substantial thing. Now is that good or bad? I I'm not a big guy on government power. I, don't, I think government, when they get information of power, they abuse it. I don't necessarily like that. Why? Because now, you know, there's going to be some who that says, you know, we can find out who owns guns by just checking all the gun blasts and find out where the guns are shot. And you know, we'll, we'll block out the range or, or, or everybody that goes in the range will look at those license plates and now we'll identify the gun owners. Rick, that's a conspiracy theory. Nobody's gonna do, man, it happens all. People don't realize, as a cop, it's our job to gather information that's gonna help us catch criminals. That information or authority or power can be used against good citizens just as easy, if not easier, as it can against the bad guy. So when you, when you give up freedom for security, you get neither. Uh, uh, let's see here. What else? Um, 100 since, uh, in 2015, since 1850, the Sheriff's Department, 128 deputies have, done, have been killed in the line of duty at the Sheriff's Department. 128 deputies. Um, so what did, what did this uh, L.A. Sheriff get arrested for? Lying to the FBI. Man, I, <laughs> when a cop gets arrested for this, I'm just like, why the hell were you talking? Dude, we tell everybody, read your rights, ask for an attorney, and don't answer questions. Lawyers tell crooks that. Prosecutors will tell their friends that. Cops will tell other people that. Cops will tell other cops. Don't talk to the government. It'll only turn around and be used against you. Invoke your right to remain silent. Don't self-incriminate. Don't help. Don't assist. Don't try to be a good guy because the government will use it against you if it fits their means. Why would you want to give somebody... It's like handing a freaking terrorist, uh, Allah Akbar, a freaking 
AK-47 or, or a bomb vest and saying, hey man, I'm going to help you out, just don't blow me up. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Don't talk to the freaking FBI, people. Don't talk to any cops. It doesn't do you any good. So he gets arrested, and they have 18 people arrested. Uh, 18 officers are charged or indicted on this uh, civil rights violation, L.A. County Sheriff, an ongoing abuse of prisoners, violence, etc. And so what kind of they did, if you read between the lines, if you read the article, it doesn't really say this, but what happened is when they found out the FBI was investigating and they found out who was informing to the FBI, they tried to hide the guy. So they switched him around, moved him in inmates, hit him, let him out. Uh, I guess a group of deputies went to one of the female FBI uh, homes. She was a female agent who was investigating him. They went to her home and talked. The FBI said their talk was trying to intimidate. Guess who won? The FBI did. The higher the government that wins. So the sheriff, the constitutional officer of that county, has no authority. He, he, instead of not complying and saying, our officers aren't helping, you're, you're federal, you're, you know, I don't give a shit, get out of here. But that's the way the federal government works. They get their fingers and their tentacles into the state's business through code words that the liberals provide, such as civil rights, uh, you know, environmental, uh, we got to protect the right, uh, freedom of the press, uh, black power, black lives matter, uh, occupy Wall Street's bad, the guns are bad. So the federal government gets all their fingers in the state's business and pretty soon you can't keep them out. They're too deep. And they are too deep. So uh, when they found out, they were kind of like trying to push the FBI back, but you just can't do that. Look, when I was with State Streets and I worked with the FBI, in Sacramento, and our agency, you know, we were all sworn in as deputy uh, FBI agents and U.S. Marshals. We had our federal credentials so we could do, we could play the, hey, I'm a federal officer. If you lie to me, you're going to jail. Oh, shit, you can't lie to FBI, so everybody would talk to us. I don't want to lie, so I'll talk to you. Don't move, but it works all the time. People get intimidated. That's what government does, it intimidate. It uses fear to push, to push their political agenda, which is actually the definition of terrorism. So... Why did these guys get in trouble? Probably because they were doing shit they shouldn't have been doing. Probably because it showed a line of supervision that they failed to supervise and they looked the other way and friends were helping friends and this guy's a good guy and he lost his temper and the guy he hit was a piece of shit, no good, tattooed, been to prison 20 times, drug dealing, raping, piece of shit. Why do I want to ruin this guy's career? Well, look the other way. And pretty soon you start looking the other way for that, then you're looking away for this, and that, next thing you know, everybody has some reason to have to look away. Which is why cops, if something happens, they automatically look away. Because I don't want to be a witness. I don't want to know. If I don't know, I ain't got to tell. If I don't have to tell, then I can't get in trouble for knowing later. And I can't end up like these 18 guys who they charge with conspiracy. And federal conspiracy is the same as state conspiracy. Conspiracy is two or more people conspiring to commit a crime. And one of those parties doing an overt act. An overt act is something that you can tell it. An overt act is, okay, you know what? Let's go rob this bank, and I'm going to wear that holster. We haven't committed conspiracy yet because neither of us done that. Okay, I'm going to get this holster ready for the robbery. We just committed conspiracy. We haven't done any crime. I haven't done anything wrong. But the second that I did an overt act to further this conspiracy, the conspiracy is complete, and I can be charged and convicted of that conspiracy. How did these guys get caught? They had meetings, they were talking, hey man, hide this guy, hey man, can you move this guy? Yeah, the FBI's looking for him. Hey, you know what? Hey, Sheriff, we're trying to hide and we're trying to delay. Okay, hey, Sheriff, we sent four people over there to talk to the FBI agent. Sheriff, no problem. Is that a conspiracy? Well, evidently there were other charges that they charged the Sheriff for, but he pled to lying to a federal, uh, or lying to the FBI. So when he lies to the FBI, he faces up to five years in prison. Now, part of the plea deal is he won't get more than six months. So if the judge gives him more than six months, he can withdraw his plea because the prosecutor said, hey, we're going to recommend this. If the judge doesn't give you the six months or less, then you can withdraw your guilty plea. And then we'll go ahead and go to charging and we'll play the game and we'll cost you money and you'll have to spend resources and we'll break you. And pretty soon you'll plead something because you won't have any money to hire a lawyer and we're going to win anyway. So either take our, our deal at gunpoint or we're going to crush you, which is the way the government works. The government's out of control, they don't work for the people, they don't work for us. Anybody that believes that's a freaking idiot or a liberal, which is pretty much the same. I know. This guy just hates liberals. I can't watch him. He's always talking about liberals. That's right. Because you guys are the freaking problem. So, 
he gets charged with this. He's, he, he, he took a plea deal for lying, and, and of course they included all the other charges because now if they can just get a guilty plea, they can run around and say, we got the sheriff. We got the sheriff. Who shot the sheriff? The FBI shot the sheriff with a lying to the FBI charge. So when you read this article, the reason I want to talk about this is I want people to understand that there's more to this than just yay. Now I think this is a good thing that they got somebody high. I think they need to start arresting it, uh, politicians higher up in the level. I think congressmen need to go to jail. I think the president should be charged with treason. I think everybody ought to be accountable for the same rules that everybody has to live in. When you have certain people only accountable, then you have a ruler and a king, because the king can do whatever he wants, and the laws don't apply to him, much like Obama likes to think he is, which he acts, and nobody stops him, so therefore he is. Whether or not we call it that or not, he is the king of this country. Okay, people ain't gonna like it, I don't like it, but he is the king. He can do whatever the hell he wants. Trump said he could shoot somebody and still get elected. Obama could go out and shoot somebody and still not be charged, nothing happened to him because he's the king. And we have no checks and balances. The checks and balances that the founders put in, and I'm gonna get more to this in the Revolution series, we, we've lost control of government because we've given up how we, were fun, how we started, how our constitutional founders set it up, to put checks and balance, to limit government, to stop government growth, to stop the federalism. Anytime something gets big, it gets out of control. You lose checks and balances. It becomes a life of its own. Whether it's state government, whether it's a huge county government like the LASO, that's the largest jail system in the whole world. I mean, it's one stinking county in one city. I mean, come on. But it, it, government is inherently evil as it grows it gets power as it gets power it loses objectivity it does not care about the people it only controls its power and wants to grow and maintain that power that's just the way human nature is you can say that I hate the government or it's bad but understand power corrupts absolutely and absolute power corrupts absolutely it doesn't matter how you say it Power is a worse drug than any crank, meth, heroin, you name it. When you get that power and these politicians sit up in their little boots and they have somebody driving them around and they have armed guards and they have no worries in the world because government provides everything for them and they can sign and take anything they want from anybody to get more of that power, it just has only one road to go down and that's evil and bad. I mean, I I'm sorry if you don't like it, but it's just the way it is. And, and holding your government in check is not a bad thing. Distrusting your government is not a bad thing. I mean, that, that's kind of what keeps government in check. The ability of a free press to question the government, to hold the government account, to not let things like LA go on. If we had a free press, if we were able to get in there, it shouldn't have took the FBI to come in and do that. If the county was smaller and involved, if we had more control over this, if the people that were elected to the city council, the members, the, the, you know, whoever runs the sheriff's department, if those people were held more accountable, we wouldn't have this large federal entity having to come in and save us from our own government that we elect, we control locally. Local government is the only way to go. Federal government hates local government. They don't like their power. They don't like their ability to challenge a federal government. Therefore, federal government is constantly growing trying to push and shrink local government, trying to federalize and grow large governments so the government can say, we're in charge of everything. Federal police force, you might as well give it up. We're not supposed to have one. We have the FBI, we have the DEA, we have the Secret Service, we have all these federal homeland security. I mean, the, the freaking country voted and agreed and got their politicians after 9-11 to say, we need a homeland security. When I was a kid, the homeland was a Russian term that we looked at as the enemy because it was communism, and it's not the homeland. America is the land of the free, the home of the brave. We are, we're not a freaking homeland Russia mother country. That's how I grew up. People now have accepted that term, homeland security, as if it's normal, because that's all they know. And the people today do not know and understand history. They haven't seen government growth. They haven't been around for 40 or 50 years to see how it just grows out of control and it totally monopolizes your life and ruins your life and takes away freedoms. So, I got off track here, I gotta quit, uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so that's the LA County, good and bad, I'm glad they caught them. 
I just did a video on uh, redoing my grips over there, so that's why you see the AKs over there. Uh, but anyway, uh, we'll end that there. Smokey! Viva la revolution! Smokey! <laughs> He's like, dude, unless the mousies are attacking, I'm done. All right, we'll end that there.